Raptors, this is impossible. You give up 145 points to the Knicks, who are not some offensive juggernaut. All right, so hot in this down screen, Grady Dick needs to switch. You've got to guard this down screen in some way. I would just switch. You're not doing Kelly Olynyk's trying to come out and trap or hedge, but it doesn't. He can't get out far enough because you didn't guard the down screen. That second defender's got to be there closing off this space. So Kelly Olynyk can't get all the way up, or Jalen Brunson's going to split through. So now he just turns the corner easily, and one. Do you work on pick and roll defense? This is the basics of pick and roll defense. Kelly Olynyk's playing up on the screen. Grady Dick must take the two steps necessary to get in backside help so the pass to Hartenstein doesn't get made. This is embarrassing. The Re Darko Ryakovic is a joke. Look at this. You don't move. Wide open. Raptors are trapping. Awesome. So Grady Dick, Gary Trent. It's a great trap, too. But you got to rotate to one pass away. Josh Hart and Mitchell Robinson. We're not worried about those two Knicks players two passes away. But no one's moving. It's a great trap. But nobody rotated. So now, now, by the way, can we sprint down, getting into the gaps right there on the wing, right, getting the dribble picked up? Nope. So Josh Hart's just going to go right to the rim. Guarding away from the ball. First of all, Bruce Brown should be up the line, but he's got to be in a defensive stance. His feet have to be set. You want to help on the ball, that's wonderful. You got to be able to recover. Look at Bruce Brown's feet. Not set. Going towards the ball on kickout. Not the difference. You're giving up an open three. How does this happen out of a baseline out of bounds? First of all, Bruce Brown should not be hugging Precious Achiu at out above the three-point line. Take a step back. See ball, see man, cut through with them. But that's not really the problem here. Why is Garrett Temple not staying with Bogdanovich? Bruce Brown's fine. Why is Garrett Temple leaving? What? Not at all sure why a Jalen McDaniels, Jordan Nora ball screen is not just a switch. But okay, if you're hedging this screen, stop. McDaniels has to go over the top of the screen. Over the top. You can't let Miles McBride split through. You're going underneath the screen. Gary Trent's coming to hedge. Where are you? Split. Why do the Raptors just need to get dusted immediately here with Kobe Simmons? Can't you just get back and guard? You're picking up full court. So now you're beat. All right, cool. Jalen McDaniels, I'm in help, of course. But I want to be leveled to Bogdanovich so I can recover. I'm still in help. Nothing changes. But now I can get out to the three-point line. You stand. <laughs> this is why you must. It is not an option. There's no reason not to. I have to jam the screener if I'm going under. Use your body and show your hands. You're showing here so that Bruce Brown can get under this screen. When you don't do this, there's no screen to get under. Dante DiVincenzo's pulling right off the handoff. Obi Simmons is on a two-way contract trying to guard Jalen Brunson. All right, wh your, where's your help? Help coverages. This is something you go over. Towards the strong side of the floor, McDaniels, Bruce Brown, both in help. So we want to keep our feet set in a defensive stance, shading Jalen Brunson towards where the help is. Towards, look at this, overplaying to the strong side of the floor where your help is. Now you're just going to get bully balled in the paint. First of all, I don't know why we can't just get up and guard Jalen Brunson. We want the screen set out as high out as possible. So that, that, that makes that switch easier. But all right, so you're just going to walk right into a screen. So then Jalen McDaniel's got to be busting it up to get up on this switch. Like this is taking too long. Could you imagine just being a player or being a coach that has to work for someone as moronic as Darko Ryakovich? This is criminal behavior. Ice this. I need backside help for Isaiah Hartenstein's role. So if I ice the screen, I've got multiple backside defenders waiting for Hartenstein's role, keeping Josh Hart to the sideline. You're running drop coverage. Wh wh where's your backside help? The referee? <laughs> you can't even explain what the Raptors are doing here. This is like middle school basketball. Jordan Wara is guarding Josh Hart. Gary Trent is guarding Miles McBride. There's no screen being set. Why does Gary Trent, why do both players leave Miles McBride? W what was that? So now Olenek's got to go worry about Miles McBride in the corner and can't guard this screen that's being set. Not that you'd probably guard it the right way anyways. 
Brady Dick, you have help in the middle of the floor. So I'm not playing. I've My only job is to get low and battle for position, keeping Jalen Brunson out of the paint into the middle of the floor. Look at Grady Dick. You're not even trying here. You're not. You're, he just walked into the paint without doing anything. Now it's too, he's too deep. Help doesn't matter. Why is Grady Dick gambling here? Why, and why is your back to Jalen Brunson? Just get out and guard. Like, what are you doing? You're going to leave your feet too? Whoa. So now everyone's scrambling. Kelly Olynyk's got to leave. You give up a wide open three. And because Olynyk has to leave the paint now to come out on DiVincenzo, there's no one boxing out Achiua. You just can't explain the unexplainable. Look at Darko Ryakovich standing there. Go home. You are an awful basketball coach. There's four seconds left in the half. Why is Kelly Olynyk backpedaling? You have an extra defender. Get up and guard. And Gary Trent Jr. can come over in and help. Why is there backpedaling? You there? You have numbers defensively. I really hope young basketball players in Toronto do not watch the Raptors because Dark watching Darko Ryakovich coach is disgusting. It's not basketball. Why am I letting Jalen Brunson in the lane again? The sidelines right here. I can hedge. Where's Isaiah Hartenstein rolling to? Nowhere. And by the way, Jalen Brunson can have to pick his dribble up instantly with the sideline right there, and Olenek can recover back quickly. But instead, I mean, you just get giving him the lane. This is not, it's not basketball. It's just not basketball. Look at Darko Ryakovich standing there. You are atrocious and should not have a job. Garrett Temple's going to come to the top of the key to help. So why is Grady Dick, why are his hips opening up away from this help? Please flip your hips and force Jalen Brunson to help. You're giving Jalen Brunson, look at this. Look at Garrett Temple. And you are get, making sure he can go away from that. I don't know why a Garrett Temple, Grady Dick ball screen can't just be a switch. But okay, if you're hedging this screen, Jalen Brunson just pulled his dribble back. So Garrett Temple's fine now. Grady Dick's got to recover back to Josh Hart. So Kelly Olynyk can recover back to Mitchell Robinson. Like, this is not how you hedge a screen. You're still guarding for no reason. And now the Knicks have numbers. Just a hideous switch. This is coaching. First of all, Gary Trent. Obviously, I need to get underneath the screener on the switch, but Jalen McDaniels, get stop shoving the screener. Be ready to guard DiVincenzo. In a defensive stance, feet set. I want to shade him to the middle of the floor if Gary Trent switches underneath, which he doesn't. So McDaniels is still shoving the screener. Gary Trent switches over the top. Your McDaniels easily lets DiVincenzo turn the corner. Jalen McDaniels and Bruce Brown. Like you go into a game, this is clearly wing to wing, a switch every time. So why is Bruce Brown not up switching? Why? Coaching. I don't even know what Jordan War is doing. Is he is he leaning towards the screen early? It looks like he's trying to ice the screen. So then you know this. You go over this. Jalen McDaniels, you must get underneath on this ice right here, obviously, keeping Josh Hart to the sidelines. If Jordan Nora ices the screen and you don't, this is a layup line. The Raptors are in their repulsive drop coverage right here. Gary Trent, if he wanted to get in the gap, see, this is something you go over. The help comes from the top of the key so that you can stay home in the corner right here. But Gary Trent is late getting over. Now, I, look at this. You have four Raptors players guarding Josh Hart. Four. So, pff, Bogdanovich, easy pump and go drive. So, the Raptors are so repulsive man-to-man, -man, they've got to go to a zone. And it's just as bad. Grady Dick, you've got to guard the free throw line area of the zone right here. Kelly Olynyk's guard has a responsibility in the paint. You cannot just leave and guard no one and leave the middle of the zone wide open.